Hello, beautiful souls. So, for example, there may be an old habit or a thought pattern or a way of being that is very 3D-based or very fear-based or anxiety-based that you've cleared out a long time ago. But then all of a sudden, you felt tempted to go back into those old habit loops or those old thought loops once again. Your guides are emphasizing this isn't about your energy. This is about some kind of environment you've been interacting with that has sympathetically affected you at the energetic level, and it really requires you to clear your energy and come back to yourself. And again, there could specifically be this feminine involved here that is unhappy within themselves, but that will not necessarily resonate for everyone. Now, speaking of coming back to the core of who you really are, let's talk about what's going on with your actual core energy. By the way, I'm getting a message from someone's guides that your whole life, it may have been somewhat of a struggle to sort out what is yours and what is others. Because you are very tapped into oneness, to collective consciousness. So when something is affecting one, it is affecting the whole, and those who are the most empathic will feel it the most intensely. So I'm getting that even when you were a child, for some reason, I'm seeing a child that used to have stomach aches or physical issues of some kind. I almost feel as though when you were a child, even you picked up so much energetic information. I'm hearing you were bombarded with energy and emotions from people around you, and it's almost like you were gaslit into thinking that something was wrong with you or that all of that was your own. I feel that you've come an extremely far away since being that young child. You've learned how to mostly sort out what is yours and what is others. You've learned and practiced different ways of clearing your energy or raising your vibration that seem to be a form of energetic hygiene for you. But in spite of that, there are still times where you come into contact with such strong energy that it does still impact you at some level, and that's what I see happening here. Now I will say though, your true energetic state is coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, but also the Lover's Card energy. These are cards of abundance and unconditional love. Specifically with this Lover's Card, I feel as though your true embodiment is love. You are someone who naturally sees the good in others, and over time, you've been learning how to see all the best in yourself as well, knowing that the self-love you are cultivating within is actually emanating outward in the form of unconditional love. Because self-love and love exuded outward are actually identical frequencies. But also, I will say with this card, I feel you strongly harmonizing or attracting in some kind of really beautiful love partnership. For many of you, I am getting the sense that you may have been very independent-minded for a long time, specifically when it came to love. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.